Hey beer tubers, um, welcome back to another edition of Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, this afternoon I'm going to be doing uh, doing another of these hinterland beers. I was in the neighboring town yesterday for a for a job interview at Wally World at their warehouse. Um, they got some part-time jobs open, but they had some single bottles, and uh, I didn't really want to buy a four-pack, so they had some single bottles of this. I'm going to be doing the hinterland. Luna Coffee Stout. As many of you know, uh, stouts and porters are my favorite style. So um, I've been impressed so far with the with the Hinterland beers I've tried. Uh, not you know they're not stellar. They won't knock your socks off or anything, but they're darn good beers. So I really have high hopes for this. So uh, just as with the other Hinterland beers, just a plain plain cap. So. Let me get this in the snifter here and see what we've got. Glug, glug, glug. There's, there's some thickness to that, that's for sure. This is a full pint, so it ought to fit in this L in here really well. Wow, that's a good looking beer. There is not a hint of light coming through that anywhere. I got a nice finger of a really thick thick looking creamy looking uh, brown head nice looking stout just what a stout should look like a um, little bit from the website here it says Luna coffee stout pours pi pitch black with hues deep mahogany I think they mean hues of the two finger fluffy tan head recedes slowly well I got a finger while leaving a nice full lace for a very impressive look with a solid yet not overwhelming aroma of coffee, you can smell a hint of chocolate. The bold, rich taste of creamy coffee doesn't overwhelm the rest of the flavors, leaving a hint of chocolate to finish. On a cold winter night, you, could, you couldn't ask for a better, beer, better cold beer to warm you up. Like I say, style stout. Uh, five, this comes in at 5.8% uh, ABV. Let me get a nose on this and see what we have. Like I said, looks are stellar, so... We're off to a good start. Oh wow, yeah. Definitely getting a getting a sweet coffee. And I, I sort of like to tend my have my coffee stouts have a bit of a uh, bit of that coffee bitterness, but this is definitely a sweet coffee. Uh, nice roasted malts, um, almost like espresso. Um, definitely getting that definitely getting that roasted malt in here. This is a darn good smelling beer so far. There may even be a there's a hint of vanilla in there. Some maybe some a real subtle way in the background. Some uh, subtle subtle dark fruit. Um, really nice, but it's basically the coffee and roasted malts, and it, it smells good. It's not like I said. It's not the bitter coffee. It's a sweet coffee. So let me give this a taste. Oh no, that's nice. Um, I'm getting the chocolate right up front, but there is a, that nice coffee flavor right there in the background. Again, it's not uh, not bitter. I'm getting just a hint of oak, but um, definitely got the. It's like milk chocolate. It's a sweet chocolate, a sweet coffee. But it's a sweet dark coffee. It's not a bitter dark coffee. It's not one of those sweet, over creamed, over sugared coffees. It's a sweet, sweet dark coffee. Only 5.8%. I'm not getting any uh, any alcohol on the nose or the taste, but. Um, it's got a nice, nice, smooth, uh, creamy, really creamy mouthfeel. It's thick, it's soft, just really feels nice. Um, just got the slightest bit of carbonation in there to to keep it from becoming cloying, but really, really nice. So let me sit and let this warm up a bit. Uh, I don't think there's much more to pour back. No, there's not much. There's nothing left to pour in the in the glass so let me sit let this warm up a bit i'll sip on in a while be back in a while with the final thoughts hey everybody hey i'm back it's been 20 minutes or so maybe close to half an hour i just been sipping on this i've been enjoying the heck out of this um 
this is a darn good uh, coffee stout. Um, like I said, it's got the sweet coffee. Um, it's a sweet beer, that's for sure. Um, doesn't have the coffee bitterness that I tend to like in my coffee stouts, but it's a nice change of pace, and I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, this is definitely one of the uh, the best uh, of the hinterland beer. This is definitely the best of the hinterland beers I've had um, uh, so far. Um, I think this is the third or fourth. Um, for a new company out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, um, I think they're doing a darn good job. Uh, the other beers were were good, but not you know not stellar. This one is close to stellar. Um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, this is one of the, this is probably one of the best stouts I've had from a Wisconsin brewery too. Um, it's almost compares to almost compares to Speedway. Um, I think uh, I haven't had one of those in such a long time. Never reviewed one, but I haven't had one in such a long time. But this is a darn good beer. Definitely the best beer that uh, best beer that they've they've done that I've had. I bet if this on tap with a nitro, I will bet this is just because this is the mouthfeel is the best part about it. It's just so creamy and smooth. Um, appearance is good. Uh, aroma is probably the least. Uh, you know of the qualities but uh, the taste and the mouthfeel are just really really nice um, I noticed as as it's warmed up I'm getting a little bit of mild earth hoppy bitterness right on the finish but uh, there's still a lot of not a lot of not you know not a lot it's mostly still creamy coffee uh, sweet coffee um, sweet chocolate uh, cocoa uh, that sort of thing it's just a really nice beer. I'm going to have to give this a good solid 9 out of 10. Um, I'm sure on, if it were on tap with Nitro, it would probably be it would probably be a solid 10. Um, that would do so much for the mouthfeel, which, like I said, is the best quality. So, till next time, everybody, the uh, Hinterland Luna Coffee Stout is going to get 9 out of 10 from me. Cheers, and let's keep you drinking good beer.